on this uh, crash in New York City. Joining us is Earl Weiner of the National Transportation Safety Board. He's leading this investigation. Mr. Weiner, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Good evening, Well. Thank you. Uh, you indicated that the train was going 82 miles an hour in this dangerous curve. It shouldn't have been going more than 30 miles an hour. So the high speed was definitely the cause of this crash, right? Well, um, you know, this is preliminary information. We've just read out the flight, the uh, event recorders today. But we had event recorders in the front of the train as well as in the locomotive. And they both uh, gave us consistent numbers. 82 miles an hour, so there's no way that curve could have handled a train coming 82 miles an hour. So the question is, was there brake failure or was this human error? Those are the two main uh, sources uh, that you're looking at in your investigation, right? Yes, we don't know whether it was human error or a mechanical failure. That, of course, is the reason why we'll be continuing this investigation with a great deal of intensity. Um, but that's what we want to find out. But the brakes were working fine in all the previous stops. It started in Poughkeepsie, and it was making its way down the Hudson River towards New York City. And the brakes worked fine, according to the data recorders, on all the previous stops. Is that right? Well, we're going to look at that data more closely. But we, uh, yes, the train made nine stops. And there was no uh, reporting of any braking anomalies. So uh, that will be looked at in great detail. From the information that you have, and we know this is preliminary in your investigation, but those data recorders do provide a wealth of information, for how long was that train going at 80 or 82 miles an hour? We don't, uh, at the moment, uh, I haven't gotten information on that. We do know that two minutes before the curve, the train was going at 60 miles per hour and had accelerated then up to 82 prior to entering the curve. So, so it was under power.